And subscribers, yeah, I've got an empty bench here again. It's not empty for long because look what arrived in the mail today. My very own first Rossi engine. This is a Rossi engine I happen to see listed on eBay, and I must have snatched it up right about the time the fellow put it online. <coughs> so I was super excited. This is a Rossi engine, and actually this box is from Italy. Let's open it up and see what I've got inside here. Now the contents of this box are a Rossi 45 engine, a non-standard exhaust, put that off to the side, an empty Rossi R4 blow plug holder because that plug is in the engine. Some little dust cap that probably maybe went on the exhaust. And there's a couple other things in here. We'll talk about those other things in a bit. Let's talk about this engine. So as you can see, this engine does not come with its standard stock exhaust, if it ever even came with a stock exhaust, but by the looks of the size of this box, I have a hard time believing that this engine didn't actually come with an exhaust. So I don't know the history of this. This was an eBay purchase. Don't really know anything about it. Other than this, I have done my sniff test on it. I just did it again. And I am pretty confident, pretty confident, actually about 98% confident that this engine has never been run. So this is a virgin engine. Now you may say, well what the hell is going on with the head here? The head fins aren't lined up properly. Yeah, I noticed that in the ad too, which is why I'm going to take the head off and look inside the back plate um, just to confirm my suspicion that this has never been run. But obviously, Rossi would never ship an engine with the head in that type of a orientation so somebody's been inside this thing and that is a little bit of a concern so let me take this Rossi plug out of here and let me zoom in just a hair here and if you look you can see the top of that piston is brand spanking new go out just a hair more here so seeing as the screws on this are slotted I have to pull out my specialty little specialty tool kit here and find an appropriately sized drive for this thing. I don't want to be screwing these screws up. Okay, well, I don't need to do that there, so it's not going to ratchet once they're loose, they're loose. Okay, <clears throat> so these screws are loosened. Those of you that have never been inside of a Rossi engine before, which that would actually include me, seeing as I've done a little research and read about it, this head is not just a single piece head. This outer black portion is actually the heat sink portion of the head, and I believe this portion here is like a plug adapter so let's see that much is true that's the heat sink portion of the head and this is the part that the plug goes into uh, I'm not sure how to get that off because the whole mm, the whole sleeve wants to jump up it looks like the whole sleeve is moving up I may actually have to go and get this a little bit of heat Maybe put a little oil on there, or do I feel it walking, wanting to walk off? Yeah, I'll just walk it off here with my thumbnail. Okay, so we have a shim here. There is actually another shim. Oh shit. I realize I had this thing so zoomed in, dumbass. <clears throat> so here's the glow button, or the glow insert, glow plug insert. 
had this shim in there. So, so actually it goes like this. That like that. So here you go. Top of the piston. Brand spanking new. It looks like we've got three transfer three transfer ports in this engine. One exhaust port. So now Pop this back plate off here real quick. Okay, this has got an O-ring seal. Look at that thing. Boy, the light shining off the mirror finish in there is about blinding me. Yeah, that's just tooling oil in here that I, I can smell. So this engine has never been run. It has oil from the factory in here. So this is a pristine engine, which I'm extremely happy about. This is extremely cool. And I did happen to find the proper exhaust, bolt-on exhaust, that is for a Rossi engine. On RC groups and hopefully I'll get that in the next week or two um, not sure when it's gonna be here but once it gets here you can bet your bottom dollar that you're gonna see some engine runs with this thing so I'm gonna shut off the camera now button up these screws and just say hey I'm super excited about having my very own Rossi 45 engine thank you for watching Okay, so I had actually completed this video uh, a week or so ago, and that was before I got the exhaust in that I ordered. So I figured I'd just go ahead and update the video with a small segment on, look at this. <clears throat> this is the exhaust that a really awesome member from RC Groups had and was willing to part with. Um, this is the tuned exhaust that Rossi actually made for these engines. I'm not sure how far it dates back to, but as you can see, it's a perfect fit. And the thing that's cool about it is it's actually slotted on this side so that if there was a little bit of difference in the engines, maybe this was able to fit on several different engines. I don't know. Um, but it's slotted to facilitate ease of uh, installation, maybe. I don't know. So anyway, this is a really cool exhaust, and I really can't wait to start breaking this engine in to see. Now the last thing I want to mention real quickly is that it came, this exhaust came with these instructions. Now there is some English in these instructions and I'm going to read just the English part. Obviously because everything is Italian or Portuguese and it's also the same thing. But So this part here says the super muffler is provided with a new revolutionary patented system that enables the reduction of noise of 15 dB and an increase of 800 RPM compared with the traditional mufflers. Since the pipe has more pressure, it is possible to obtain better feeding. So here, uh, the last thing they say is, and they've got kind of a little cutaway here as to how the internals of this uh, exhaust are. It says here, we suggest to fix the muffler also to the fuse lights through a little steel rod as shown in the picture. So that's all there is to it. They've got a hole here that allows you to actually keep the end of this attached to the fuselage so that it doesn't vibrate loose apparently but apparently this has got some internal baffling um, that reduces sound by 15 dB but increases RPM by 800 so that's pretty impressive now uh, some of the things here let me zoom in on this exhaust just real quick there is a screw here there is no pressure feed so I'm not sure where you'd even put line pressure or tank pressure anyway. There's a screw here that I think holds some of the internals together, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. The other thing that's weird is that it looks like it's completely closed. And then there's this screw here 
that I don't know really what it does. This must, this long screw must attach to something internal here with a head and then you just, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not going to take this exhaust apart, but if you look, it looks like it is almost completely closed off and I thought, well that was really weird and I don't know if you can adjust this thing or what. There's really nothing else in the instructions. But before I had mounted it to the, uh, to the engine, I blew through it just to make sure that you could actually things were coming out or air was coming out and there is just enough opening there for exhaust gases to escape so this is going to be a really interesting uh, addition to this engine and I'm really looking forward to running it with this so stay tuned for some videos on that